Hello boys and girls, welcome back. As you can see, it's Chinook Day. Um, oh, this one on pre-order and it's just arrived. So yeah, let's have a look. Um, when I first saw it, didn't know much about them anyway, other than that I used to see them going over all the time where we used to live. And uh, a mate of mine, she was on board one of these, but it was a, turns out it was a later version. Uh, so I was hoping to do it in the colours that she would have flown in, uh, in Afghanistan. But uh, I'll have to wait until Airfix come up with the later version. Probably next year, you never know, maybe. Or if someone does a, like, a conversion kit, maybe. Uh, but I think what I'll do, just to be different, rather than do the camo, I'll do this beige version. So the two options, Bravo November, the sort of famous Falklands one. And this one from number seven squadron in uh, Desert Storm in 91. I kind of think that'd just be a bit different. Um, play around with the weathering on it a little bit. Should be good. So what we've got, two flying hours, school level three. Um, anything else on the box? Oh, a Boeing, there's a Boeing sticker on there. That's weird. Like a hologram thing. Uh, uh, cartograph decals, copyright, model, tooling, decals, design, all that, all this year. And a little bit of blurb. Should you want to read that? Right, let's have a butcher's. You know, they're going to be all right, aren't they? Um, lots of funny little bits and pieces on there. Uh, you know, all these funny little don't step here, walkway things, little warning bits and bobs. Loads of them keep you busy. Um, but the one I'm doing is this lot, so minimalist. And there's the common ones. Quite a big instrument panel one there. Okay. So any horrors in the instructions. So straight in, so as you'd expect the inside first. So the first thing is to chop off some of the Extra bits. <laughs> Section one, remove debris. Uh, what's that, instrument panel maybe? Looks like it could be. Uh, mm. Walkway thing. More chopping out of their bits. Seats. Yeah, it looks fairly straightforward. Be interested to try and get that on all that detail there, but with a bit of micro set, should be good. Um, I mean, this is what I think a lot of people are gonna concentrate on, it is the inside. Because you can have a lot of fun playing, playing around with that, lots and lots of detail you could add. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. Uh, door open, door shut, don't know. Um, so we're already into some options here for, I guess that's a winch, isn't it? Uh, then painting all the pipes and things on the inside. Gives you a little bit of a clue, but not, not mega detail on the inside there. So it's, down to you to um, do some research because yeah the one my mate was on she was uh, the medical emergency response team 
so doctor, paramedics, and uh, people with guns um, going into dangerous places and getting people out. Um, so there was loads of medical equipment and stuff would have been inside it. So tricky. So right, what's this? So this purple bit says do not glue. Goes on both sides. Oh, I see, it's a guide. And then you drill through that into the plastic. Okay. Uh, more chopping off their bits for them. Then put the inside in. Close it up, so it doesn't look too bad. So what was it, 100 and something bits? So, 172 pieces. So quite a few. So then the bottom of it on, and then another jig. Do not do. Okay. Lots of ends and the, the engines. That all looks simple enough. Just making some tubes and sticking them on. And the wheels. Yeah. And there we go. So there's some options. Uh, oh, okay, there's three. So door shut, door open, but without the ramp bit down, and then the ramp down. So if you want to do like a diorama with like vehicles or personnel going in and out, you have that down. It's a nice touch. Uh, oh, that's unusual. The window's going in from the outside. Oh, that's going to make life easy, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Oh. Do all your painting. And then put the windows in. And then the same with the, the canopy and the front doors. Oh, well, that's made me happy. It's always a faff, isn't it, with <clears throat> aircraft with windows. Lots of masking, but... I like that idea. Cool, okay. Uh, and there's some more options here for door shut, half open, or sort of down. Uh, then onto the little tiny bits. All the little odds and ends. Aerials and stuff bits you put on the bottom of it, oh, that lot, those bit. Yeah, lots of, lots of stuff. And the rotors, that looks simple enough. Okay. That's it, okay, so not too bad. And then the colour call outs. Oh, there's even decals in between the rotors. Ooh. And on the rotors. And then all your stencils. <laughs> Loads of them. So that's going to be common to both, isn't it? Interesting way of doing it. It makes more sense, doesn't it? Just to have that rather than duplicate that and put it on there and make a right mess of it. Hmm. Even here there's some options. Decals, earlier scheme, January 91. May 91. I've done a bit of research on it. Please with that. Looks good. Let's have a shift it the plastic. That's the important bit, isn't it? Okay, so again they've done this satin finish on it, which I like. The old stuff used to be shiny and it didn't look quite right, but this is not quite as smooth. 
plenty of detail on there. I'll give it in a little bit. Lots of recess panel lines. All looking good so far. And the other side, much the same. Really, really faint. Just, just feel them. Really faint lines. Looking nice. Fine little detail on that. Could probably just make it out on the camera. And then the portholes. Pretty clear, very shiny. And then again there's rivet detail on the bit the bit that be painted on the on the front there. Nice that they've done that in one section rather than trying to fit the glass in around a a normal plastic bit like that makes life a bit easier for us tidy right what's next okay, the rotors there wouldn't be much detail on them anyway but again it's that satin finish A nice little bit of detail in there. Just make that out. Certainly more than you would have, you would have got on a 172 a few years ago. I mean that. You cannot, can't even feel it. And yet there's rivets in it. And the panel lines and all sorts. Nice. Really enjoying these modern AFX ones, they're just so much better than they used to be. And I love the old ones, but these are just easier to play with. And that ramp there, loads and loads of panel lines and rivets and screws and bolts and all that. Really nicely detailed. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, there'd be all sorts of webbing and things to go on there, wouldn't there? Sort of seat belts and to strap stuff down. So I might, I might have a little play with it. Um, again, once it's closed up, we'll just see each other. I'm trying to imagine looking in there through those little wibbly wobbly. Glass bits, would you see a lot? Okay. I'm looking in the back. Yeah, I suppose you'd see a fair bit. If you're looking down there, you imagine there's the two halves together. You could see a fair bit down there, couldn't you? <clears throat> so I'll have a, look, have a think about it and see what I can be bothered to do. But all the tie downs on there. I wouldn't be surprised if, if somebody soon comes out with like a set of PE for like all the all the tie downs and webbing and straps and things that you'd have on there. Because uh, it was a very busy place. That's nice, a sort of checker plate finish on that. Oh, that's really good. You can sort of shade that. That'll, that'll make it pop. Nice. Loads and loads of fiddly little bits. Here we go. So, instrument panel I always have a look at. That's a busy little thing. 
Mm -hmm. Seat's all right. A little bit plain, maybe. Probably stick a belt on that. Then I wonder, because the... Oh, that's really, that's nice. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. It's almost like a really fine sort of mesh feel to it. Um, but yeah, I wonder if like a bit of PE would have done the trick. Because yeah, it's like a sort of mesh filter sort of thing, isn't it? Stop stuff getting sucked in. Really fine though. On 172 scale, that that'd be a tricky one. Um, yeah, loads and loads of little bits and bobs. I won't bother looking at that too much. Oh, and that's it. Okay, that's 170 minute pieces. Well, I'm quite chuffed with that. That's going to be a fun, fun build, but I don't think it's going to be too difficult. All looks pretty straightforward in the instructions. Yeah, so uh, again, we've got a great big box for something that big. I mean, I could be the rotors on it, be a big app. We've crammed a lot of detail in there, a lot of parts in there's something that's not all that big. You know, I'm not complaining, the more the better. Um, yeah, maybe it would have been nice to see a bit of PE in there. Or even maybe FX could have done like a after, like they've done with the, the lifeboats where you can get extra de decals. Maybe with this they could have done a PE set to go with it. But maybe they're just relying on the, the aftermarket people to come up with something. But uh, yeah, I'm well chuffed. And it's something a little bit different. I've been doing a lot of biplanes lately, so helicopters are a nice change so I'm about halfway through the Bristol Bulldog that came out a couple of weeks ago uh, so I think this one may well be next this is a good picture as well nice, nice bit of artwork and it's a nice little reference for all these stencils Load them. cool right anyway that's enough for me uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you again. Bye.